Yeah, you read it. TFT YouTubers need to play and upload new and different games to keep the channel alive. Looking at things like the VNM video on Team Fortress 2's future, it's clear that the flow of content for the game is very slow and inconsistent. And as a player, we all know it's slow and inconsistent and we don't even data mine. From my two part 5 TF2 YouTubers that vanished videos, it showed a, a, to me like a lot about what happened to those channels and it was all kind of similar reasons apart from the odd exception. They were shut down or left or changed game because the flow of content for this game wasn't enough to feed the videos that they wanted to make. V vice versa, they'd make videos on other games, our community hated it, so they were either completely packed it in or completely sided over to a game that had such a big following that they knew that they'd pick up subscribers, such as Muse Elk, who kind of follows a hype train. Valve is a mess of a company that is completely out of touch with its community, like Artifact, their newest game. I, <laughs> it has roughly 400 players at the moment, and TF2 has roughly 50,000 players at the moment. Valve is working on TF2, but with a very small team. They have literally no leaks or communication. They really, really should just, you know, use their Twitter the way that the CSGO team does. And, you know, put some put some pressure on people to go and work on TF2. You know, I know it's got the spaghetti code dilemma where it's got code from the 90s that's a ball ache to work with, but, you know, come on, it's, it's the OG, you know. A lot of those people there wouldn't, you know, have been hired if it weren't for things like TF2 in Valve's past. A lot of TF2 YouTubers really need new content to report on. If, if you think back to your old favourite or even your favourite TF2 YouTubers, uh, the ones that are gone now at least, think of how many videos they've made from game updates, new maps, new content, wacky weapon buffs that didn't work. I mean, I, I think King Raja alone did at least like 10 videos that involved weapon buffs that were just too overpowered and at least three of them being the lock and load. I myself and a lot of TF2 YouTubers rather rehash ideas that have been done a million times. Cough, cough, um, 2019 backpack tours. I, come on guys, please. Don't do backpack tours unless there's been a dramatic flow of content for the year. 2018 has had like two crates in total. There really isn't much more that your backpack can have in it that's interesting. I, I completely sided from doing it this year because it was a complete waste of time. Funny videos. TF2 with friends. Tutorials are unique ideas. That unique ideas is very hard to come by and uh, is really hit or miss because if you have a unique idea and it flops, it is soul destroying. If a channel is completely dedicated to TF2 videos, then you can burn out. You, I, I won't name any names, but there's a fair few TF2 YouTubers who have branched off into other games and have been met with nothing but negativity. Then there are the even fewer TF2 YouTubers that have done it and their community have been very, very supportive. And that's a rare reality. I mean, I, actually, I'll give them credit where credit's due. Uh, one of the few that I can think of where his community have been very supportive is uh, Retweet Daniel, RRT Daniel. Uh, he's done incredibly well, uh, especially with how all not in an insulting way but how all over the place his uh, content is uh he just he does so much different stuff and his subscribers really support it now this isn't caliber announcing the end of the tf2 videos i have to do a video like this at least every six months so people don't think i'm quitting they're still coming i wanted to make this video for kind of two reasons uh, i was watching a, a bigger tf2 youtubers video and um he was getting, uh, in the comment section, he was getting loads of hate because the video wasn't TF2. And uh, I was really disappointed with that. And uh, I just kind of wanted to address my view on it. You know, people will be like, your caliber, what do you think this YouTube is doing a video on? Um, not even Fortnite, I think it was uh, Metro Exodus, which I personally, I, I want to buy, but I'm not I'm not buying it on Epic Games. I'll be getting it from Steam. And um, well, if it ever comes out. And uh, everyone was like bashing him for it, and I was like, "Ah, oh, guys, come on! It's ridiculous. You can't go bashing someone for playing, you know, a different game. You know, we, we don't, we don't. TF2 people don't just sit at home all day playing TF2 constantly all day. If that was the case, I'd have hit my 3,000 hours a, a year ago, like I aim to do. No, we play other games. Uh, one of the other reasons is I've got. A bigger TF2 video coming out, but I need more time to work on it. It takes a lot more recording than I intended. It's about hoods, TF2 hoods. Lots of people ask me about my hood 
or want to know how to put a hood in. So I'm going to do a really simple, plain, simple tutorial on how to at least put a hood in. I'm going to keep it as cut and sweet as possible, just like the um, the how to bind a key to explode or suicide in TF2 video. I'm going to keep it just like that. I'm going to go for absolutely everything so you know exactly how to do it by the end of the video. Uh, another reason is I have videos that are not TF2 related. Uh, and it was it was actually reading this comment section that made me back off a uh, a video that I was making. Well, I, okay, it's not properly made yet. It's not even in a in a beta stage yet. Uh, and I've postponed it because of those comment things. But it's going to come out. It's going to come out this February. And um, I I just want you guys to be aware that it's not a replacement for TF2. It's as well as TF2. I have other videos, I play other games. If I don't play other games, I go mad and I hate TF2. I even uninstalled it at one point because I got that fed up of it and I played nothing but Fortnite for about a month. Uh, yeah, so um, TF2 YouTubers, we need to play other things. This isn't a rant. It kind of comes across as a rant, but it's not a rant. Hope you, you guys enjoy the future content that's coming out. Support your other YouTuber. Your, well, if you're a YouTuber, support other YouTubers. But if you're um, if you watch other if you watch a channel that's uploading something different, if you don't like the game, fair enough, don't watch it. If you know you don't like the game, definitely don't watch it. But if you like the person, you like the personality, you like the structure of the videos, you like the way the channel's going, then watch the videos, be constructive in the comments. Don't be a dickhead, okay? It's really easy. Yeah. I'm Jake Caliber. Excited for next week's video. I hope you really like it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.